Staying ahead of important customer service and sales issues is one of the greatest challenges we all face in business. Sage CRM addresses this challenge with a number of notification tools that inform you of important issues as they arise. One of the easiest to configure is called Quick Notification. So let's jump right in and take a look at an example. I'm logged in as John Finch, a customer service representative, and I receive a call from one of our customers, Simon Yaltoy of Gatecom. Simon is having trouble with the software he purchased from us, so I'll log this as a new case in the system. I'll enter the relevant information to log the new case, which appears to be a program lockup, possibly due to a software bug. I'll enter the problem details. Computer locks up when program loads and select a problem type. I'll assign the case to John Finch and save the case. Now here's where the quick notification feature really shines. John Finch, our fictitious customer service representative, is supervised by Susan May. Susan wants to be aware of all issues involving software bugs. So let's log out and log back in as Susan. As Susan logs in, she immediately sees the automated notification of the new bug-related case that John Finch just created. Think of all the uses of this feature for sales, marketing, and customer service. Now we'll show you how easy it is to configure quick notifications in your system. You'll need administrator rights to set up quick notifications. To begin, click Administration, Customization, and then the entity that we'll be creating this for, which is Cases. And then in the upper tab bar, select Notifications. You can create on-screen and email notifications. We'll select on-screen for this example. We'll name our notification Software Bug and make sure Enabled is checked. Then choose AND or OR for the conditions that you'll be setting. And now we'll add three rules for our notification. We want to be notified of new cases involving bugs, so we'll use the problem type field and set the condition to equal to and the value to software bug. We only want this notification to work on new cases created from this date forward, so we'll select created date and set the condition to greater than or equal to and select today's date in the value field. And for the last rule, we'll set the case status to equal only cases in progress. Now we'll create the on-screen message that the user will see. You can enter free text as well as use merge fields. We want the message to say, new case for software bug created on, and show the date. So we'll type new case for, and then go up to the merge field list and select problem type. And now we'll type created on, and we'll go back to the merge field list and select created date. And finally, we'll select the user that should receive this notification when these conditions are met. We'll choose Susan May, and now we'll save the notification. Again, when Susan logs in, she'll see a notification when the entry of a new case matches the rules that we've set. So to recap, on-screen and email notifications can be created for conditions involving sales, leads, customer service, and marketing. Give us a call if you need assistance with this or other features in your Sage CRM system. And if you're not using Sage CRM, here's another reason you should consider it for your company. Well, that's it for this tutorial. Bye for now.